uh, Batman versus Spider Man. Y'all know I've been talking a lot of what what's up, YouTube. Y'all know I've been talking a lot of shit about Spider or uh, Batman. Now, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna actually say when I, when the names come up, who I think would actually win. Like, it, like okay, so Batman versus Spider Man. This is what I'm gonna say. This is what I'm gonna say, bro. Uh, people like to do this preparation bullshit, all that shit. If it was real and they really boxed. I, I don't okay uh, maybe I should watch it first and then, and then I'll I'll watch it first and then if I agree I'll I'll say if I agree or disagree and I'll tell you why Look Batman is cool I fuck with Batman I felt stupid if you think you're going to beat me I'm just saying he can't be spider I uh, can't I mean he can't be superman Honestly I think Oh shit, yeah, they explode. You know, I think, I don't know. I think ba Batman would, I think Batman will win. Batman has a lot more tools. He has a lot more tools in his arsenal. I mean, Spider-Man really doesn't have any tools. He just kind of web slings and, and can fight and shit, but. But to be fair, they're fighting in Batman's like territory. It's dark. The sun ain't out. That's hard. Oh yeah, see, Bat Spider Man would be out right there, and the shit blew up. He wouldn't be out, out, but you know he'd be a little hurt, bro. That's hard. That's hard. Having fun yet? This is so fire. I like these. Damn! Don't tell me he going out soft like this. Oh, he finna mega punch or mega kick. What he gonna do? Kick? Oh my god! Sorry about that. Web swing! Damn! That was brutal! Show it again! Despite Batman possessing more skill and knowledge, Spider-Man's abilities ultimately overpowered his arsenal. To be fair, bats might have been able to deal with Spidey's strength and speed, but that damn spider sense changes everything. Right, oh, this, I didn't even think about that. And stealth, Batman's I... most valuable weapons. But how could Batman lose to a wimpy spider nerd when think he about it. the entire Justice League on his own? Many of Batman's greatest achievements have required weeks or months of preparation and planning, that which can hardly be compared to the one-on-one -on -one confrontation of a death battle. Keep in mind, if we had given Batman prep time, the same would be done for Spider-Man. And all of That's always the excuse. The prep time though. Give him prep time though. Together again. The nah, fuck all that. We on it's on go. It's on go. <laughs> fuck all that. So, chat. If you really think about it, he does have spider senses. So even though the fact that it's dark and he's in the dark, his element of surprise is kind of gone. It, it kind of it, it's kind of evaporates because he has the spider senses. I don't know why I completely forgot about that when I was talking about it. Okay. Let's see if Batman can recover from this W or from this L from both Superman and now Spider-Man uh, versus Black Panther. And if he beats Black Panther, it's just, he's just racist. So it's like it's kind of a lose lose. All right, let's check this out. Uh, where are we at? Where are we at right here? <laughs> they like, wait, what? <laughs> I said what I said. My boy, he just chilling. Welcome to the zoo. That's racist. Hold on, this music though. To challenge a king is to face the might of his people. I'll give them something to fear. Yeah. Uh huh. So on straight hands, just straight hands. Ooh! Oh, am I juggling him? 
into your car. All right, come on, let's get it, boss. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. My boy using tools, man. Come on, fight him, box him. See, he throwing straight hands, bro. He throwing straight hands. Why you gotta use it? Why you gotta use gears? Why you gotta use items, man? Box him. And now you going be back. That man finna use a lion now. These niggas fought the lions. They fought the lion. They fighting each other and the lions. This shit hard as hell. Hit him with the darts because you know Batman don't kill. Well, he finna kill now. It's a death battle. Look at him. Bing, bing. Get that shit out of here, man. Fucking vibranium. What are you talking about? Witness the power of a king. A rhinoceros? Prepare yourself. Uh, I'm prepared for anything. Where the fuck are they? What kind of zoo is this? Playtime is over. Here we go, straight hands, run him. Uh, Hicko Batman with his fucking Home Alone bullshit. Okay, hold up. Try again. Woo, he said try again, bro. We supposed to be throwing hands, bro. You wanna cheat and shit. Beat his ass, beat his ass, beat his ass. Look at him, cheating ass. He got eaten by Free Willy trying to and do some cheap shit. I'm sorry, bro. KO. Whoa, that's a new one. Black Panther and Batman were pretty evenly matched. Both were super geniuses and expert combatants. Well, BP was stronger and faster thanks to that superhuman herb. It definitely helped, but alone was not enough to beat the bat. Batman has won dozens of duels against people with similar or even better abilities. As far as skills were concerned, neither held a distinct advantage. However, that was not the case when it came to their weapons and armor. Long story short, that vibranium got Batman stumped. He just didn't have anything in that belt of his that could get around me, me, me. We like, scoured the comics, movies, me, 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 TV me, me, shows, and me, more to me, see me, if Batman me, had me, any possible me, way me. of countering the vibranium. While he's used hundreds of clever gadgets over the years, we were actually very surprised to find that he had no reliable method of getting around armor like that. Take a look at Batman's fights with Bane. He doesn't have armor, but he's physically superior to Bats just like Black Panther is. And what does Batty always do to beat him? Aim for the weak spot. But guess what? Black Panther doesn't have a weak spot. It's certainly believable that Wayne had the ability to develop a gun that could overload the Panther habit. But even if he could, he never would wield it in the first place thanks to his rejection of all firearms. And while his suit can stop a few knives and bullets, it didn't stand a chance against Black Panther's anti-metal claws. In the end, Bruce just waned in comparison to T'Challa. That's what the I'm saying. Is Black Panther. Like, bro. He can't even be Black hey guys, Panther for watching the premiere of season or Spider-Man and y'all telling me Superman can? Y'all telling me Superman can, can can lose to uh to Batman, bro? Just cuz Batman could take some time and concoct some fucking some some uh, uh um what you call it? Kryptonite, man. Thanks to Blue Chew for sponsoring. Look, I know, I know everybody. I know all the Batman fans are like, yo, bro. You don't know nothing, bro. You don't know nothing. This, that, and the third. Da, 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 da. All right, bro. Whatever. Look, we're going to move on from Batman constantly taking L's, bro. Jesus Christ. Sad to see. It's kind of getting sad at this point. And we're going to go to Flash versus Sonic. Ooh. Death battle! Death battle! You really think you can outrun what? I'm the fastest man alive. Bro, if Sonic oh, lose to a fucking hedgehog, I'm he gotta retire his alive. suit and and just stop doing what he's doing, bro. You need to work as a as a bagger, speed bagging shit. Huh? Yeah. 
What's the matter? You too slow? Don't mess with the hogs, dogs! Oh god. Bro, if you lose to this nigga, you will literally get clowned. I'ma go with I'ma go with Flash here because look, I ain't sleeping on Sonic, but I'm just saying. I guess we're gonna see what happens. Don't Super Sonic or don't Sonic got a, like a transformation though? Wait, what? Huh? Is this Super nigga just emerald? Oh, he show you. Oh, this is cheating. Where that shit come from? Oh, there's his power up. Super Sonic, Super Saiyan Sonic, Super Sonic Saiyan. Oh my gosh, this is bad. This ain't looking too good, bro. What is that? A vortex? Yo, Flash, do something. He is beating your ass. Oh my god. Oh my whoa, 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 whoa. Flash, do something! You ain't done one cool thing yet! Look at him, he's bored! There we go! I don't even know what this is! I don't Oh my, oh, oh! Nice try. Wait, can Sonic fly? Like what is- like this. You've mastered speed, but I've mastered fate, and I wish you gone forever! Yo, when did Sonic become a fucking Dragon Ball character? What is- Chaos Control! Chaos Control? Linda, Jai, Iris, help me now! Wait, what? Yo, I'm glad I'm not no fucking superhero. If I was literally, if I signed up for this death battle, I would have got my ass twaxed because I would have severely underestimated. I'm like, yo, he's a fucking hedgehog. Then he would have pulled out all this shit. I would have got my ass whooped. I would have got my ass whooped fucking around with him. But hold on, he hit. Huh? What he hit? Who is that? Sir? What? Talk to me. So that happened. Yeah. Uh, what happened exactly? Exactly. Talk. Well, this matchup was incredibly complex. Given their speeds were impossible to calculate, speed alone was ironically somewhat of a non-factor in comparison. Sonic in his base form didn't really stand a chance against Wally. Sure, he did seem to survive being launched 849,000 light years into an alien planet by a black hole imploding. However, yo, what is what the fuck is Sonic about? What is Sonic about? Cuz I didn't know all of this. Like, what is Sonic about? No clue. Is he a superhero? Is he just... They said running. Running. <laughs> running. <laughs> Considering he's been knocked out by far less, black holes are already imploding stars, and it seems some snow also inexplicably survived the trip. It's probably more likely the black hole acted as a sort of wormhole in its last moments and sent Sonic directly there. But if we assume Sonic was indeed blasted through space, a black hole's last moment usually results in an abrupt detonation equivalent to 5 trillion tons of TNT. Impressive, but the infinite mass punch could still deliver over 2 quadrillion times more power. But Sonic's super forms were a different story. They had answers to almost all of Wally's skills. His chaos energy could replenish stolen speed, he was invincible, and he had freaking wish powers. Personally, I was expecting- Yo, the most I know about Sonic is that he goes in a ball in loops and then he fought Jim Carrey or some shit, bro. 
expecting the opposite result. Against almost anybody else, Archie's version of Sonic is practically unbeatable. But across a greater percentage of possible scenarios, Wally just happens to be the exception. He had every counter he needed to. The speed steal wouldn't stop Super Sonic, but Wally still got that stolen speed for himself. Super and Ultra Sonic were essentially batteries of unlimited kinetic energy Wally could pull from. Even with their speeds being incalculable, this meant Wally could ensure he was faster. Plus, Wally performed a lot more of those incalculable speed feats than Sonic ever did, so he technically held an experience advantage in that field. Chaos Wish Power would be an insta win against basically. Chaos Control. Who is this nigga fighting where he even needs to be saying some shit like that? I thought this was like a kid's show or something, bro. Anybody, but Chaos Magic uses physical energy. And guess what? Wally could phase through reality warping energy. And jump through time or vibrate to a Yo, higher thank you for the thank you for the five get the subs, altogether. man. I'm Even literally shocked right now because no it's to like take down Sonic super forms. Wally has proven capable of effortlessly moving and vibrating at top speeds for days on end. So it wasn't too hard for him to just wait out the super forms and strike at the first good opportunity. And when it came to Ultrasonic's ability to alter atomic structures, Wally possessed perfect control over his own individual molecules. But hey, Sonic's the embodiment of chaos. Fate automatically bends to him or whatever. Except Wally has broken fate a few times himself. The best example being when he ran to the end of reality and forced the concept of death itself to die. What? Uh, because speed force. Simply put, I don't even know what that means, but that shit sounds so fucking hard, bro. Like when niggas gr grab something that is literally just a, 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 a like, it's something that is isn't meant to be like grasped. Like when I be hearing about Kratos, Kratos beat the fuck out of fate itself. Like that shit just sounds hard. I don't even know how like that, like how that is supposed to make sense. But when you hear some shit like that, you'd be like, God damn, this nigga beat fate itself? <laughs> How do you beat fate itself? This thing is like escaping death, beating death's ass. Like death is a thing that happens. How do you beat it? <laughs> like, I don't know. That shit just sounds hard. Sonic's hypothesized nature as an anomaly in reality just wasn't enough protection against someone who could also break the rules of reality. And remember, when Wally raised Barry, their speed- Like, what is the visual of a nigga having a chokehold on time itself? And I think adding itself at the end of it makes it, like, more impactful. It's like saying nigga, you know? He, had a, he has a chokehold on time itself. Like, the embodiment of time itself it almost tore apart the multiverse both these characters understandably seem overpowered to an extreme fault but it's important to remember that in their respective worlds the story comes first sonic was impressive improbable and explained i need that new god of war game the power the counters and the i don't know why this want me to get the I... in this absolutely mind-bending <laughs> battle oh the drink is kicking in Where's I ran to Jupiter! I'm a god! Fa fast, fast speed would be fire, though. Speaking of, look, we're gonna do, okay, we'll do Kratos versus Spawn. Bro, all I know about Spawn is, like, he has guns in his jacket, and, uh, that's really it, bro. That's really the extent of my knowledge. Fight. Oh, well, this is fucking embarrassing. <laughs> this is fucking embarrassing. Who the fuck is Spawn? <laughs> Who in the fuck is Spawn? <laughs> what the... I'm sitting here talking about Kratos fucking... Spawn is the devil in his... Un... He's the devil in his universe? Oh, shit. Come on, Kratos. I got. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm biased. I got all my. I'm putting all my chips on Kratos. Come on, Kratos. And this is the savage Kratos. Like, he don't give a fuck. He just vengeance, bro. So I. I. He got a good chance. This is literally him at his prime. Mm-hmm. 
And don't forget, you got what's his name shoes too, bro. You can run fast as fuck, boy. What's that nigga's name? Hermes or some shit? Oh. I mean, but he's already dead, though. Yeah, like, wait, how do you kill... How do you... <gasps> no, wait, he's good. He's good. He'll come... What? Oh, man. Here comes the rage from the God of War fanboys. Kratos is a very difficult one to beat, but Spawn's magical prowess and near indestructible body proved too much. Okay, to be honest, he gonna come back, though. He he would come back. Yeah, he lost the... Yeah, he lost the battle, but he ain't gonna win the war. He ain't gonna... He... Wait, he lost the battle, but he ain't, he he gonna he gonna win the war. That's what I meant to say. If it's what are we gonna win? Much for him. Yeah, normally that last attack would have meant the end for his opponent, but not Spawn. And while much of Kratos' arsenal were forged by Olympians, Olympus is composed of earthly elements and is not another plane of existence like heaven. So it stands to reason none of the Olympian weapons could kill Spawn. Except the Blade of Olympus, but it wasn't enough. Plus, Spawn and his suit had plenty of evil energy to feed on during the fight, since Kratos is literally covered in his past sins. Ooh, oh, that's how this nigga operates. Oh, Got it. Damn, yeah, it's kind of a L. This nigga just full of hatred, bro. You know, he's just evil. Like he just mad. he just pissed, bro. A lot of people was like, yo, I don't know why I don't know why, but I fucks I fucking fucks with Kratos and his movement. Whatever he gotta do, I fucks with it, okay? Like niggas did him dirty, bro. Niggas did him dirty, bro. They made him white. I know why he made him. <laughs> I'm joking, it's a joke, bro. I mean they did make him white though. Don't forget it, bro. Don't forget it. That was one hell of a fight. The winner is Spawn. Next time on man. Death Battle. That kind of sucks. I like Kratos, man. Okay. Uh, Sephiroth, Sep Sephiroth versus Virgil. Y'all know I love me some Sephiroth. Sep Sephiroth. 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 Virgil. This is the guy from Devil May Cry. Hmm. You are powerful. I can see it. Yeah, that's him, right? Devil May Cry. Fucking fire. Fire you? game. Fire game. You're I saw scared. Deadpool versus Deadshot. I saw that one. Oh, 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 oh. Bro, I got Sephiroth. Sephiroth, bro. Virgil fire, but like, come on now. Don't get it fucked up, bro. This is Sephiroth we talking about. Look at his sword, bro. And that ain't even it, bro. Bring the wing out on this nigga, bro. Bring the wing out on this nigga. Darkness. 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 Bro, every time I fought this nigga on Kingdom Hearts, darkness. Darkness. And this nigga just beat my ass, bro. Darkness. <laughs> Yo, if, if you if you were walking down the stairs into the living room. And you could only hear what I was playing. All you'd be hearing, all you would be hearing is darkness. Heal, heal, heal. Darkness. Heal, heal, heal. Take that. Take that. Heal, heal. Darkness. <laughs> okay. I was spamming the fuck out of them buttons, bro. But are you Take that. Enough? Take that. Heal. Dark. Don't move. <laughs> I suppose oh can't be helped it's over put a rat put a fork in him bro put a fork in him he's done he's done put a they're fake stop wasting my time oh shit Yo, why am I actually stressed out like this shit is like on the fate of the like this is actually the fate of the world, bro? Oh, 
over. I saw you could pierce the fabric of our dimension, so I cast an illusion to disguise this witness oblivion. I told you, bro. Oh, 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 oh. I'm free. So you are. KO! He ate that shit, though. Extra crispy. How the fuck he, he stand up from that? Extremely powerful swordsman, but Sephiroth's cunning and stronger abilities led to his victory. Wait a minute, I thought the lore said Virgil's sword could cut through anything. Why didn't it cut through Severoth's sword? Yamato was a unique weapon, but its legend clearly exaggerated. On multiple occasions, it's clashed with Dante's blade and yep. even a common rocket launcher. Yeah, I was about to say. Through either. And then again, that's probably them forgetting their own lore or some shit like that. Sometimes requires an exuberant amount of force to cut through tougher material. But let's discuss the real facts. Like strength. So Virgil with Beowulf could do 720 million newtons, right? But there aren't a lot of good uh -huh. semi strength feats to compare. First, let's compare Sephiroth to a fellow. Oh my god, y'all kept saying Dante. I thought my fucking stream crashed. I was like, what the fuck are you? First class member of the soldier fighting force who had also. And what I say, huh? I like looked at it. Everybody saying Dante. I was like, huh? <laughs> experimented on with Genova cells Zach fair remember him he's the not cloud guy who fought that dragon at his peak Zach could cut through a large metal door with one swing seemingly with most of his strength given the size and width of the door this feat sheer strength comes out to 980 million Newtons I like how they really dissect this shit and like take everything literal because, bro, it's like, you really can't argue against, like, they, if they really putting as much facts into it, bro, like, you know, they're not, they not bullshitting, bro. Stronger than Zach. <laughs> In fact, if we look at their strength stats when they fought that dragon, Sephiroth was three and a half times stronger than Zach. Putting Sephiroth's strength output at over three billion This nukes. nigga wild, That's bro. That's almost as much force as 30 Hiroshima bombs. Strength isn't everything, though. Virgil was technically faster than Sephi, but Sephiroth has handled people. Look at that! Th I love this scene. Right there. Like this Plus, shit was fire Sephiroth when I when I seen it for the first time. I was like, "What is this?" Power is broken. The capabilities of Virgil's healing factor was like, what is this from? unprecedented, but it had it's, its so limits. Fire. In contrast, Sephiroth's healing abilities were only limited by his pool. A man, I can't wait for part two, unlimited. bro. Well, he also had to take some time to cast each healing spell, but that's why he distracted Virgil with his illusions. We know Virgil was susceptible to illusionary and mental attacks, as it's happened to him multiple times and even led to his in canon demise. I literally want to play the first one again. Illusions could hide his ultimate technique. Yeah, Virgil's yeah, healing was core ending awesome, is sad as hell, but bro. Was never gonna hold up but I love that fucking song. Ooh. To the face. Speaking of which, that's Virgil how put we... up a good fight, but he couldn't match Sephiroth's superior strength, magic, and techniques. Looks like this devil's cried for the last time. I get it, because the winner it's... is Sephiroth. Damn, Chad, I play Boomstick. Bad, I play Wiz. If you I agree with that, and yourself. that is because I am a dick writer. I don't care. I'll say it. Yeah, I, I admit it. I admit it. I am a dick writer. Okay, y'all, I think we got time for two uh, two more. I think we got time for two more. So let's make them good ones. Let's make them good ones, and I'll let y'all know if I've seen them, if I've seen it already or not. Um... Sasuke versus Kill Killua. Wait, who's Killua again? Hold on. Because I, I kind of want to make sure I, like, I, it's more interesting if I know who both of them are. Because y'all know, I'm not really, like, an anime dude. To where I know every fucking person like y'all know. There's only one Killua I know. Snigga in chat, bro. <laughs> Snigga in chat. Okay, I know who this is. I know who this is. Um... All right, let's get it. All right, I am going to say... Ho. Oh. Well, this one. Hold on, let me see something. All right, bet. No rules, just bloodshed.
my only knowledge of them is like the move set that I've seen on Jump Force, and that's it. Yeah, I'm recording. I've been recording all that, all, all of this. Which version art of Sasuke are you talking about? Um, I don't even know. Shit, yo, Loki, my stomach doing the same thing. Come out and play. Wolverine versus Raiden. Wolverine versus Raiden? That sounds fire. I think we might do that. What is that? So my my knowledge on them is very limited, but I know of them. I know who they are. Is that a yo-yo? I'm sorry, but he has a yo-yo as a as a as a weapon. What? Oh. I was about to say, ain't no way he just went out like that. Oh shit, that scared the fuck out of me. Okay, now that's the move from Jump Force, I know. Ooh! When he go big and shit. Oh my god. See, this is my thing with it. What? I know it's in a draw. <laughs> uh <laughs> Wait, I Oh, sorry. Sasuke loses. So that was like a drop. This is my thing with anime like I see so much cool shit and it like, but like it has to be, it's not just that, it, it's not a, like just that that can get me fully invested enough to just sit down and like watch a whole thing just to get to that part. Like there was one thing I seen and I can't even remember what it was from. It was like some nigga and I, I think he wears green or something and he has something in his mouth. I don't know. It looked like he got fucking retain a retainer or some shit but like the the thing was spinning the it was like the the world or the room was spinning and he was fighting and the, like the animation was so smooth and chris was like yo that shit looks that shit looks fire and i just watched the scene over and over again but like i never got into it because it's like i don't bro it's just it's it's more to, it's more than just a cool scene you know i don't know it, when it comes to shows when it comes to shows like if that was a scene from a movie i'm immediately looking that shit up and seeing what it is but Demon Slayer, that's what it's called. I was like, yo, that looks so cool. But I don't know. I have to be, I don't know, man. It's like, I don't know, y'all. I'm fucking picky or something. Okay, what was it? This is the last one. What was it? Wolverine or, uh, it was, it was Wolverine, right? Wolverine versus. What, Raiden? I seen the, I seen the One Punch Man and, uh, the um, Superman one. Wolverine versus Raiden. That scares me, bro. Why are these so loud? Wolverine versus Raiden. I don't know much about uh, 
Well, I know about Raiden, obviously, like, uh... Aside from the whole pain and insanity thing. <laughs> okay, never mind. I don't know who the fuck Raiden is. These enhanced modes rely on a fuel supply, and using them burns through it at a rapid pace. Raiden can only carry enough fuel to sustain these modes for a very limited time, and relies on absorbing more fuel cell electrolytes from enemy cyborgs. Who is this Car. guy? She got a retainer too. Oh, it's a sword. Oh, it's like, that's the guy. All right, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. It's time for a death battle. Raiden, is he on? I don't know. I thought it was due from Mortal Kombat too. I was wrong. This is a whole Metal Gear Solid, that Metal Gear Solid guy. Wait, Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear Solid is the one the with the sound that's like, Ring! or however that song. Gotcha. I didn't know that until like the hell are you? a year ago. Get out of my way. That chance, bub. I was like watching famous sounds You're from next. video games or some shit, some shit like that. Um, I don't know, like, I guess... I mean... I would say Wolverine, and that's because only because I know a lot about him. <laughs> I know that he can heal... he, he has... he can heal himself. Gotta admit, that hurt. But I don't know if this... I don't know about this guy, so... Nice trick, Voltron. I'm actually more human than you. And that's saying something. Let's dance. Y'all hear this song? Oh, he got the Chun Li kick. His arms, man. Oh, so he can heal too. Oh, that would be terrifying. Oh, he hit his mask off. Yo, what the fuck? Okay, hold on. That was hard. That's fucking hard, bruh. Are you some kind of cyborg? Well... My bones are coming in the strongest metal around. You gotta show us something, bro. I'll just have to swing harder then. Again? Oh, he used to this shit. Robocop. Oh, damn. Pain. This is why I fight. <laughs> oh. It's time for Jack the Ripper to let her rip. <laughs> Oh, oh, damn. Is that wraps? <gasps> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, 
my god! Because of Wolverine's adamantium skeleton and stubborn healing factor, he was able to hang in there despite Raiden's clearly superior speed and strength. He could have even kept it up until Raiden ran out of fuel, if it weren't for one important question. Could the high frequency blade cut adamantium? To answer this, we dug deep into Marvel Comics history and found Misty Knight, a lesser known Marvel heroine with a bionic arm made of Antarctic vibrating. Black Queen, God This anti metal emanates vibrations which weaken its target's molecular bonds, exactly like Raiden's high frequency blade. Like the Murasama, this can destabilize and break any metal. Including adamantium. Damn! And while in Jack the Ripper mode, right can do that. With enough force to cut through buildings and machines built to survive new wars. With that much this strength behind a sword like that, plus right in speed and technology advantage, Wolverine's supposedly indestructible skeleton met its match. Any way you slice it, Raiden just had the right gear for the job. R.I.P. The winner is Raiden. Man, it's always. It's like the ones that are like low key. I don't know about. They end up winning because I don't know. I feel like they they got some cheap shit, bro. They must got some cheap shit, man. They must got some cheap shit, man. Um, one more. Okay, one. Okay, we'll do one more. What's what's what is a good one? I see. I know that I know about the Deadpool Deathstroke. I know about anyone that has Superman. Cause like, look, I you know if I hear a Superman, you know I'd be going stupid. I, I'd be like, I just want to see. Cause how the fuck you gonna be Superman? It's fucking Superman, bro. And uh, you know I ain't been proven wrong yet. Fuck are you talking about? Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Um. Wait, Ryu versus Scorpion. That one sounds fire. Ryu versus Scorpion, bruh. Thanos versus Dark. Dark. What? What is that? Dark side. Ah, damn, 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 damn. Static, Static Shock versus Spider Man. Wait, what? Static Shock fought Spider Man. Wait, they got a Miles versus Static Shock. They got a Miles Miles Morales versus Static Shock. How they gonna pin two brothers together, man? Oh no! <gasps> they actually got it, man. I can't watch this. This is racist. <laughs> hey, we. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, I have to watch this one, chat. We gotta watch this one, man. How can they pit our brothers together? Fuck it. Let's see it. I want violence. One had a good game, the other had a good show. Whose is better though? Whoa, watch where you're aiming. I got places to beat them all. For real? You attack me. Well, I got more than one electric psychopath to keep track of it. Are these narrated by Why are they even fighting? They just cross paths with each other. Oh shit. Wait, but doesn't... I was about to say, yeah, don't he got that... Whatever it's called. So like, will electricity even affect him? Spider senses don't sleep on it. Man, I haven't seen Static Shock in so long. Where can you even watch that? What is that? Oh, he broke it? What the fuck? Okay, you got surprises, but so do I. Ah, oh, shit. Here, here it comes. Ooh. 
Wait a minute, what? You stupid. All I gotta do is. What? Plasma coil. If you hadn't noticed, this electric biz is kind of my thing. Like we're kicking off this year with a bang. Poor Miles, though. Honestly, I'm surprised how this turned out. At first glance, Miles appeared to have a good chance of victory. He was definitely physically stronger than Static. This he would have totally won an arm wrestling contest. But Virgil's overwhelming electric power put him at a level above the young Spider-Man. Oh yeah. Overall, Static's feats were way above Spidey's, even when we scaled Miles to classic Peter Parker's biggest feats. Static definitely had the oomph to take Miles out, but Miles Everybody had got no comic easy books. way to get around his force field. The variety of techniques at Static's disposal also rent many of Spider-Man's abilities moot. Like how Spidey's invisibility didn't matter when Static could light him up like a Christmas tree. And his wait, 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 so wait, 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 I didn't know that, bro. I thought that was just a random cartoon that somebody made. What the spider sense could give Miles, that the super radar wasn't that big of a help. Remember, just because he knew an attack was coming didn't always mean he could dodge it in time. I'm learning and new well, things, bro. Shocking. <laughs> I'm learning so much. Only so much. To hit him once. See, his electromagnetic manipulation gave him control over Miles' wall crawling and other abilities. As soon as he got a hold of Miles' bioelectric aura, it was basically all over. But hey, Miles and all the other Spider-Men fight Electro all Yo, the time, and they I don't no care when nobody says this shit him. was hard, bro. Any different. Simply put, Whoa. every iteration of Electro pales Graphics in comparison. Graphics look so good, they look like he the movies, no man. He has no feats of power that come even close to Static, and frankly, he's an idiot. This was a fascinating matchup, but... Oh no, not again! Yay! <laughs> Mr. Morales put up a jolly good show, and yet Mr. Hawkins had him outdone in breathtaking power, stalwart defense, and veritable versatility! Oh, he was just miles ahead of him, don't you know? The victor is Static. How old is Static Shock, bro? These, these, you ever realize the age of these guys? The age of these superheroes? These niggas be like 14, bro. <laughs> these niggas be like out in the world, out in the world fighting crime, bro. On the, or on the verge of death, be 14 years old, man.